Hello super users, so we just created our first palette in Finale. Now what do you think another logical thing to have for a palette might be? Perhaps are there any current palettes in Finale we could duplicate with Keyboard Maestro? That way we can call a bunch of things with a single hotkey trigger. Well, what about this main tool palette? You know, traditionally, to change tools, you always have to come back up here to the main tool palette, which takes time because your mouse is moving. But what if you could actually go through all these tools just with two keyboard shortcuts, one for the palette and one for the tool. Wouldn't that be helpful? So let's do that, and at the very least, it'll help give you more practice with creating palettes. So let's jump back into Keyboard Maestro, come down here to the plus sign to create a new palette, and we're gonna call this one Finale Tools. Enable the macro group available in all applications, change this to only available in Finale. Always activated. We want to change this to Shows Palette for One Action When, and I use Control R. You'll notice me always using Control Something for a palette, and that's mainly because Finale has very few built-in keyboard circuits that use the Control key. And so by keeping all these palettes consistent with the Control key, it means I am overriding as few default keyboard shortcuts as possible. Now for the tools, we're going to create a bunch of macros here for every single tool. So the first one's the chord tool. New trigger, personally, for this, I use W. Why? Because I've just been using it for a long time as W. New action, we're going to do this as a menu action. Selects or shows menu item. And then over here in Finale, you can see that there's actually a tools menu with all the different tools in here. So we're just going to select each of these, including the chord tool. Let's come over here, menu, and we want to go to finale, tools, and then chord. Cool, and now if we go back over to finale, and watch what happens in the main tool palette, is we hit control R and then W. It changes us to the chord tool. That's really cool. So let's continue. Let's copy, and the next one is the clef tool. And I personally use C for clef. Here it's called clef. You could just go back through this entire process again, or you could just change the name to clef. Copy, remember command D copies a macro. The next one is graphics. Hotkey, I personally use G for graphics, and graphics goes right there. And the next one is hyperscribe, and I use H for hyperscribe. And as you can probably start to see as I start filling these out, Every single keyboard shortcut I do, for the very least, like 90% of them involve only the left hand. And that's just so I could be more efficient keeping my left hand in the exact same spot, and my right hand can move wherever else it needs to go. The next one's key signature. I personally use the keyboard shortcut K for this. That's one of the few right hand keyboard shortcuts, and this is called key signature, like that. Now I think you get the idea of how to do each of these tools, so I'll just jump to the end of me creating all of these. That way, you can see the exact hotkeys that I personally use. And one thing to note when you're creating certain tools like the Smart Shape tool, over here, you'll notice that Smart Shape doesn't actually have a dedicated button here. You cannot click this. Instead, you actually have to select one of these. I personally just select Slur as my default, but you can select whatever ones you want, and here's how you do it. So you can do it one of two ways. You can either hit plus, that way you can here add smart shape and then slur. Or if you don't want to go with grip that way, you can always do menu, finale, tools, smart shape, and slur like that. And it will automatically fill it in for you. So great, now that you have all those finished, you can quickly and easily switch between all the different tools in finale by just hitting command R and then bring up the main tool palette. So like M for measure, and now we're in the measure tool or maybe L for lyrics, and we're in the lyrics tool. What this actually means is now we can actually just get rid of the main tool palette. We won't be needing this. So we can just hit X, and of course, you can always do Command T to bring it back. That's just one of the built-in keyboard shortcuts here. Now, if you go back and look at my Finale Tools palette here, you'll see that there are actually a couple things missing. First of all, there's the Zoom tool. I don't have that. That's because the Zoom tool is quite useless. All it does is it zooms in and out like that. Things that are easily done with command plus and command minus. Another thing you'll notice is the hand grabber tool. Literally all that does is it moves the music around like this and you can replicate that just with you know normal scrolling. However, there are three main tools that I do not have in this palette. 
those being the expression tool, the articulation tool, and simple entry. That's because I use those three tools so much, it's just faster for me to not include them in the Finale Tools palette. Instead, I include those in the normal Finale palette. Remember, these are macros that are activated all the time. And you can create these the same way you just created the other macros. So I can have expression tool like this, new trigger. I personally use S for expressions, new action, menu item, and then tools, finale, tools, and then we go up here to expression. Duplicate this for articulation, articulation, oh sorry, control S for expressions, and then articulation I use control D, and then articulation tool, and just change this to articulation. And then simple entry, I usually use control C, but that's a bit more of a complicated macro, so we'll get there when the time comes. But for now, you now have every single tool you need, expression articulation, and all these other tools at your disposal in literally just two keyboard shortcuts. So just a recap. So so far we've already answered two of our questions from the last module. Both do we really need complicated keyboard shortcuts and how are we gonna remember all these keyboard shortcuts? Because with palettes, we can have as many keyboard shortcuts we want that are simple and we never have to memorize keyboard shortcut. They're all there for us. But we're still missing that first question. Is it really worth spending these like five minutes to create these keyboard shortcuts when really all they're doing is saving five seconds at a time at tops? Well, to answer that, in these next couple videos of this module, we're gonna walk through some really useful macros that you can create in Keyboard Maestro that are more complicated, more advanced than what we're currently using, but really simplify your workflow and your process. Just in the very next lesson, we're going to completely overhaul the way you use this transpose tool. That way you can transpose the notes at pretty much the exact same rate that you think. So really excited to get moving on to the next lesson and I will see you there.